Hey, B, they in the uh, chat. They want to they know some uh, Matt Dre stories. You got any dope Matt Dre, Dre stories? stories? I got hella Dre stories, man. Uh, Give us one. Shit, man. Mm. Uh, I, I just go to show how big of a star Dre was in our eyes. Like, uh, it's crazy because, you know, that after he died, that, you get a chance to... People, you know, no, no Jesus. <laughs> when, when, when people die, man, everybody, you know, they feel like it's just they, they, they obligated to, to praise a person, and, you know, show love. To right, us. right. And some people extra do it, um, and and some of it be folklore. Some of it be like, oh man, I seen it one day do this and do that. They tell all those, you know, wild stories that it's kind of over embellished a little bit, and you know, they they put a little two on it. But the stories that really count is the stories about a person that you got a chance to really experience with, man. I remember we was in Seattle um, at, at, this, at this spot called the Tuck Willow Mall. And we, we walking through the mall. And, and I mean, Pun, you've seen us before. The yeah. is can we get deep. Yeah. So we about literally about 40 deep, like walking in the mall. And uh, as we walking through the I'm mall. Old, I'm old nephew. Somebody you got to stand up your back hurt. <laughs> my bladder don't work, like it used to. My bladder don't work. <laughs> and so uh let's go, go upstairs, right upstairs, right? Right we walk upstairs. upstairs. Man, we walking through the mall, man, and you hear the announcement. Mac Dre is in the mall. Yeah. And next thing you know, bro, we look behind us, bro. It's about a hundred people, like 100, 120 people walking behind us like Sheesh. like they like following us like and he just was like he like Cuddy I'm like the Pied Piper out here Cuddy like <laughs> he like Cuddy this shit crazy so like the it, was, it was a Zoomies I still remember this shit like yesterday so the dude he like oh my, he like oh shit now, now mind you it wasn't no camera phones or nothing like that yeah, so yeah. it was old school can I get your autograph yeah so the dude was like Mac Dre, I love you, man. Can I get your autograph? He was like, and his boss was like, hey, man, you don't work, man. What he said? Man, fuck this job, man. I quit. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. The nigga quit. White boy quit. Walked off, was following us. Got the autograph, whatever. Hella juiced. And he was like, Dre was so cool. Dre was like, hey, Cuddy, get his name. Cuddy, put him on the guest list. He officially did, Cuddy. That nigga said, ah. fuck his job for us, Cuddy. <laughs> and it was just like, hey, man, it's, it's small shit like that is just how how impactful he was. You pissed that fast? <laughs> I don't drink water, you know that, though. I don't drink water. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> There's a white girl up there. I got scared. A white girl? <laughs> <laughs> He called my bitch a white girl. <laughs> white girl up there, I got scared. <laughs> this nigga is crazy, y'all. Oh, my God. Hey, man, this nigga is really crazy. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> but listen, it's like, this nigga is retarded, y'all, I promise you. Please, you're going to have to forgive us, man. We're going to have to forgive us, like, right? Don't bring that nigga back to me. Yeah, yeah like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> this nigga is crazy. Oh, excuse me. This nigga is crazy, man. She up here watching too. But no, I know. Man, I say, I it's know. it's stories like that that just lets you know how big he was <laughs> and what and what he meant to cats where we was from. And this was a dude that he gave everybody an opportunity, bro. Mm. Like this nigga was like, "Come on, we finna push. Like you rapping? Come on, you rocking with us? Come on." Got a show for us, got a grind for us, got a hustle for us, got a distribution for us. And he was, his whole thing was, I just want to see us own. And it was a us thing. It was always we. It was never me. Right. And 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 that philosophy just lets you know, like, damn, bro, that's the kind of people that we need in leadership. We don't need the people in leadership that's worried about their position. My mm. thing as a leader, man, we always want to be able to prep the next leaders. We're not worried about who's going to come take our job. Right. Some of us as natural leaders, we like, bro, I'm cool. Relieve me of my duty. Yeah. You want to plant Absolutely. that opportunity in others. You want to give others that game. Huh, bro, I want to be, I want to see you shine. I want you to be the team captain. I want you to go shoot for that, you know what I'm saying? Go yeah. for the top. And in leadership, y'all, you know, our words to advice, man, in leadership, man, 
that's the kind of people that you you want to be around. Don't get around the leaders, man. That's always insecure about their position because they gonna always keep you under them. That part. Wow. That part. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if you catch my drift, impeccable timing. <laughs> I mean, that was amazing. I didn't even have to say nothing. Couldn't have said it better myself. You couldn't have said it better, man. Shit hit close, huh? Hell, hit home. Hit close to home. All right, man. Hey, Mr. FAB, they uh 